in heating and air conditioning there are several different ways to transfer heat from one object to another and the first one we're going to talk about is conduction now that is where we have the heat energy is transferred directly from mole one molecule to another molecule um, of a different substance so let's take that example of that hot pan that we taken off the stove and setting it on the countertop again you remember that the r rapidly moving molecules in the pan bounce up against the slower moving molecules in the countertop causing the countertop to heat up that is a form of conduction and heat doesn't always transfer through conduction at the same rate through um, the different materials so if you have that hot pan full of soup and you have a wooden spoon in there that the heat doesn't transfer very well up that wood but if you had a, uh, a metal spoon in there it would get hot quite quickly so here's the example from our textbook and this is just a copper rod and it depicts the flame transferring the energy to the molecules of the copper rod and then they start to bounce faster and faster as they move up the up the rod and with and eventually those rapidly moving molecules are going to bounce up against the molecules in your fingers and start to warm up your hand now convection that's that is where this is where we um, we use quite this is what we use quite a bit this form of heat transfer in heating and air conditioning because it's we use it to transfer heat using a fluid and and air in this instance is considered a fluid so so through convection in a hydronic system you have it pumps hot water and then in a forced air system you have a fan that moves or pumps the air through the through the home and and also some baseboard heating here this is this is a uh, in the north they use baseboard heating quite a bit whether it be electric or, or warm air and through natural convection when the, when this baseboard heats up it will let the warm air rise and then as it cools it falls and it and it follows in this direction and it creates a, t a little convection circle going here and that's how the home is warmed up and then radiation and that's where radiant heat that passes through the air and it th this is uh, the sun is a great example of that so it, it does warm up the air quite a bit but um, if you take a thermometer outside and it's 80 degrees and then you are standing next to a, th the sunny side of a brick building and put a thermometer up against that brick building it's going to be much much warmer than 80 degrees and that is the radiant heat from the sun and then what happens is if it cools down in the evening then that heat from those hot bricks will radiate back out into the air and and it says here radiant heat can travel through a vacuum of course that makes sense because the um, heat from the sun travels through the vacuum of space okay so the example here that they give for the uh, from the text is an electric heater that glows red or a little um, milk house heater that you might put uh, in a room to keep it warm during the winter time okay so that is it conduction convection and radiation and how they pertain to air conditioning and heating